Minerals Council South Africa continues to showcase its natural gas baseload fuel cell almost five years after it was first commissioned in December 2014 as a means of effective green power generation. Minerals Council Administrative Head Jeanette Hofseyer van Weyck tells Mining Weekly that aside from being the first 100 kilowatt low pressure natural gas baseload commercial cogeneration fuel cell in South Africa, it is also the only fuel cell of its kind on the continent. The Minerals Council currently runs at 80% grid independence during optimal conditions, which dips to about 50% grid independence during low winter temperatures and peak business hours. The Minerals Council building power usage is about 80% derived from the fuel cell in summer. In winter we use a lot more electricity, specifically for heating, and then it's about 50% derived from the fuel cell. The rest is um, sourced from City Power. It splices into our building and the two, um, the fuel cell and City Power combine to power up the rest of the building. There's no noticeable dip as the fuel cell and city power splice into each other. Moreover, minimal maintenance is required to keep the fuel cell operating within optimal parameters as the fuel cell makes use of an electrochemical process rather than combustion and its natural gas fuel source is readily available through the gas company Igoli Gas Infrastructure. The greatest challenges in terms of using fuel cells are the dust and altitude, says Hofseyer van Weyck. The filters on the fuel cell need regular maintenance, which is conducted by business development service provider Pentaquark Energy Technical Head Nicola Kotza. We have an engineer that does that, Nicola Kotza, a woman, so we're very proud of that, and a really brilliant engineer that helps us maintain it. The biggest maintenance part actually is changing of filters because it is so dry and dusty up here in Gauteng, and the fuel cell prefers air that isn't as dry and dusty as what it is up here. Not only is fuel cell technology cheaper, more reliable and easier to maintain with the added benefit of cogeneration, but uptake in the use of fuel cells would result in an increased demand for platinum, which would assist the platinum group metals mining sector to improve its viability and preserve employment.